Welcome to the Fundamentals of Entrepreneurial Acculturation course. Hi, my name is Dr. Tara, a lecturer of the Fundamentals of Entrepreneurial Acculturation course. I'm from Center for the Promotion of Knowledge and Language Learning, University of Malaysia Sabah. APK was introduced back in 2007 and the APK course is a compulsory course offered to the second year science and art stream students. In line with the Muslim Malaysia Sabah's Revolution Industry 4.0, APK has integrated digital entrepreneurship module in the curriculum since early 2018. The course emphasizes experience learning. The practical component accounts for 60% of the course. This course has three course learning outcomes. First, explain the basic concepts of entrepreneurial knowledge. Second, demonstrate creative and innovative ideas with team members. Third, perform digital business with team members. The majority of University of Asia Sabah students who take the APK course are second year science and art students from Generation Z who are accustomed to using technology like social media. After taking this 14-week course, however, not all of the students were active and able to acquire digital entrepreneurship abilities. The main reason students are less active in practical activities is the huge number of students in a group, more than 10 persons in a group. As a result, the peers process was developed, plan, explore, experience, reflect, and suggest. This is based on the Cobb's theory, a systematic process where students could gain holistic journey to plan and explore a digital business and run the business in real life situation. After running the digital business, the students will then need to reflect on their practical experience and then provide suggestions for future improvements. But when the pandemic COVID-19 and the movement control order happened in 2020, this situation affects the local community, especially local micro, small and medium-sized businesses MSMEs. The APK course felt the importance to help the local MSMEs to digitize their businesses and for students to apply their digital entrepreneurship knowledge and skill learned and explored through the peers process. Hence, the APK courses integrated the concept of service learning to LAM as one of the students' business practical options in Semester 1, Session 2020-21. They can conduct this SULAM project using the peers process method. The students will take on the role of a digital marketing consultant who will assist MSMEs in digitizing their businesses for free as part of this initiative. The peers project is an innovation of Cobb's theory that includes a stage of planning before understanding the concept of digital entrepreneurship in depth, a gaining real-world digital entrepreneurship experience, and before making reflections and improvements on that experience. Furthermore, constructivist learning approaches and student-centered learning strategies were used in this peers project. Students themselves build knowledge actively by actively engaging in digital entrepreneurship learning activities while the lecturer only acts as a facilitator. The community, as the pandemic situation and MCO has limited students' movements to do practicum outside, this SULAM project was using the direct SULAM and e-SULAM approach in semester 1, the 2020-2021 session. A group of six students chose a local restaurant moist kitchen that focuses on Bugis and Sabahan cuisine. The restaurant is located in the commercial center area in Masai, Pasir Gunang, Johor. The owner, Puan Siti Ratsma, needed help to increase sales and custom engagement as she had no presence on any digital platforms. Sulam Elements Pierce has five stages, which correlates to the Sulam Elements. At the first stage, the student understand discuss concepts of creativity, innovation, ideation, and business model canvas from week 2 until week 4. This stage is important for the students to plan which local business they were going to help and how they can help the local business. At the second stage, the students explore the concepts, use, the importance and the techniques of digital entrepreneurship during lectures from week 5 until week 7. The lecturer provided practical activities each week so students are able to explore a hands-on about the concept of marketing and digital marketing. At the third stage, the students apply the concepts, use the importance and the techniques of digital entrepreneurship in a real situation from week 5 until week 12 of the semester. Hence, 
the students applied what they have planned in the first stage and explored in the second stage in this stage by consulting voice kitchen. The students applied their skills in Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing, website development, and the use of Canva to create social media posts, apply the copywriting techniques such as teaser, soft sell, and hard sell posts. At the fourth stage, the student will need present and write a reflection report based on the experience conducting the Sulam project for the Moist Kitchen, such as how they promoted the local business, achievements of the group and the local business, and the problems faced and its solutions. Then, in the last stage, is where the students will present and write reports about suggestions for how the team could do better in the future. The impact. Through the Sulang project, relationships with the community are being formed as the UMS students represented UMS helping a local entrepreneur who is experiencing a crisis. Furthermore, the students will be shaped into future graduates with real-world consulting experience who are prepared to confront any problems. Through the project, the lecturer was able to engage the students closely providing confidence to the students. This project is a stepping stone for future Sulam projects with local businesses. Students can gain more practical and relevant entrepreneurial knowledge by understanding how to plan their Sulam project, such as marketing channels used for Moist Kitchen, overcome problems and to identify business opportunities on different digital platforms. The project emphasizes learning through relevant real-world experiences, successfully enhancing entrepreneurial skills, critical thinking and problem-solving skills, teamwork skills, and social skills. Further, the project also impacted the local business such as it provided an opportunity to transfer entrepreneurial and digital marketing knowledge and skills to the owner, Moist Kitchen, increase the business brand awareness and saving marketing costs. Nonetheless, the project has its challenges. First, transitioning control of social media from the students to local business. There is a need for exit procedures, such as a handover procedure of social media to local business. Second, the continuity of business on digital platforms. Local business may not continue using the same platform provided by the, by the students. Hence, there is a need to do monitoring system after the students have finished their project with the local business. In conclusion, this project has its opportunities for future collaborations. The course could collaborate with local government to gain access to a list of local business who need help digitizing their business.